Watch out for those bastards, Igor. I heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to Red Forest. Olga, I think I found some of this, what did you call it, dust? Stay vigilant. There could be lurkers nearby. Those things are never too far away. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Uh, don't shoot. I'm uh, friendly. Friendly, my ass. Turn around and keep walking until you disappear. Why so hostile? I helped you guys out, remember? I need to speak with Madvey. Did you now? Olga's gone and Kostya is missing. Probably because of you. Some help. Look, I need the white powder. White powder, eh? And you're a cokehead too. We don't do drugs around here. We live healthy, clean lives. Now, wait a minute. Just kidding. I know what you mean. The answer's no. Look, I, I really need this dust. Maybe we can work out some kind of arrangement. No can do. There's too much going on right now. Kostya and Matvey are both gone. I don't give a toss about Kostya, but Matvey is a different story. At least we know what happened to our kin, fucking NAR bastards. Okay. I'll be going now. Good idea. Make yourself scarce, friendo. Did you hear that? Can you talk to this guy? Talking to this halfwit is a waste of time. Any suggestions? Go to the cemetery. At least that's what we call it. Matvey used to visit there from time to time. Maybe you'll find him there, or Kostya. Jesus. This isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Phosphorus, slaked lime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there, what's left of her. What? Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place, until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? I'll check the bones, if you don't mind.
Unbelievable. Is it possible they were telling the truth? What's going on? Remember when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true, well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's why it avoids the lye and phosphorus. <laughs> Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. I have no idea how Matvey came up with this, but he hit the jackpot. You can tell me the rest when you get back. Bring the dust. I told you to return to the UK, Igor. But I see you didn't listen. Well, it's understandable in a way. You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. You're the wild card of the zone. There's no telling if you'll end up on the side of the heroes or the rats. You're talking gibberish. You think I don't know you've been talking to Semenov? Perhaps even Koslov? Who else, I wonder? But your little gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. How do you... You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? Like a lost little boy. That big brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat? Why did he call you a rat, Mousy? They're using you, and you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Why you're really here. You're insane. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana, and I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No, you don't belong here. It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. You're delusional. Semenov used a photograph to lure you here, to get you to mess with my plans. He made you his puppet, whether you realize it or not. You underestimate me, old friend. Yes, I know it's you, Boris. What happened to you? We had our differences back in the day, but we were also good friends, the three of us. Tatiana has always been the most important person in my life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I don't care about anyone else, about my friends. Friends? <laughs> sure. Sure, Boris and Eagle, bosom comrades to the end. Cross my heart, and all that. It's really bizarre to see you claiming something that doesn't belong to you. If only you knew. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't care. I will find Tatiana. If I have to go through you to do so, I will. You're not lacking in courage, Igor. But courage without knowledge is indistinguishable from stupidity. Do you understand what you're up against? I know you talk to those halfwits in my lab. Their indiscretion cost them their lives, by the way. You killed them for telling me that crazy theory of yours? That Chernobylite is an organism so powerful it can produce singularities and wormholes inside its own multi-dimensional body? Believe what you want. But how do you hope to challenge such power if you can't even defeat me? You're so far out of your depth. You don't even realize. I have my own plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Who knows what the future will bring? 
I sincerely hope I never see you again, Eagle. That was impressive, what you did back there. You faced a monster and survived. Not everyone can say that. And you two have history, right? Damn. Respect, man. Really. Thanks, I guess. But keep your eyes on the prize, okay? We're not done quite yet. Praise the great rat catcher in the skies. You faced the devil himself and survived. Yes, <laughs> it was quite an experience. Don't worry. I can never believe that you were the rat king, or even a lesser rat. You have a pure heart. I trust you. But now we know exactly what we're up against. Chernobylite is the evil that descended upon this world. It's the true face of the Rat King. Listen to me, Igor. Whatever the cost, we have to destroy it.
What's the matter, Mousy? What's going on, Igor? What can I do for you, Professor? Hi, Olga. I'd be glad to... Fantastic. I... No jokes while we're training or I'll smack you. Welcome to your second lesson, Igor. Now I'm gonna teach you how to handle your rifle in automatic firing mode. I'll let you in on a little secret. The fastest way to kill an enemy is to replace all their internal organs with lead at a rate of 700 rounds per minute. Okay, maybe it's not really a secret, but it is common sense. You're a scientist. You should appreciate that. You've already met your arch enemies, the cans. Now imagine you have to shoot them all at once. This exercise is about using full auto mode and emptying an entire magazine in one burst. You know the Petrov stance, right? Control the recoil and try not to tear up the clouds. Remember, I will terminate the training if you stop firing prematurely. Ready? Okay, go! You haven't emptied the entire magazine, have you? Please take this seriously. I think you're getting the hang of it. Now reload and finish them off, you ugly tin bastards! Cans are dead, but you definitely scared the shit out of them. I think you now have a real fighting chance against your enemies. Well done, Igor. I know you're there, Professor Kaminiuk. Answer the radio. We need to have a little chat. I've got something that may interest you, Igor. Please. Are you...? General Kozlov, in the flesh. I need to talk to you. Again. Why should I trust you? I don't need you to trust me. Simply listen and draw your own conclusions. But not here. Red Forest. Next to the train station. Come alone. How do I know it's not a trap? You are important, but not that important, Professor Kaminiuk. Besides, there are much easier ways to get to you. Trust me. 
I don't like this one bit. I know, Professor, but be there anyway. There won't be another chance. That was Kozlov, right? What did he want? Some FaceTime in the Red Forest. The Red Fo- You can't go. It's too dangerous. Oh, no shit, it's dangerous. When did that ever stop you from sending me on a mission? I'll take every precaution. But all Kozlov has to do is pull a gun and blow your brains out. That's a hard no. I appreciate your concern, Olivier, but I've already decided. I'm going. I see. Do what you have to. Just don't let him get into your head. He knows that together we're a real threat. He might try to break us in a different way. Remember to stay on the radio, okay? I'll help you from here any way I can. Sure. Don't worry so much, Olivier. Someone has to. General Kozlov, head of NAR security. A man from the past with a past. I know his kind. They say they want a happy, quiet life, but they are addicted to war and suffering. I feel you still don't know exactly who you can trust. I know you like ample time to think things through, but you need to start making hard choices, even if you don't have all the details. <laughs> <laughs> 